Hi, I'm Terry Ryan. I'm a developer evangelist for Adobe. Today I want to talk to you about new features in ColdFusion 10 around Java integration. Now, ColdFusion's been able to do Java integration since version 6, but one of the things that we'd say in engineering parlance is suboptimal is that if you want to use any third-party Java code that's not already part of the ColdFusion server, you have to put that in ColdFusion's class path um, or create a new class path just for that jar file. And uh, it's not very difficult, but it makes your code less portable, right? You need to move to a new server, you need to remember that, you can't just spin up really quickly, you have to configure a server to get it to work. So in ColdFusion 10, we added the ability to, to add kind of arbitrary class, path, class paths to your uh, application.cfc. So I'm going to show how this works. Um, you'll see here I have, you know, a pretty standard application CFC. And uh, I'm just going to go through and and add some code to it. And you see what I did here is I added a number of uh, Java settings. So I've got Java settings load paths. That's going to tell ColdFusion where to look for the jar file that I want to include, um, or jar files in multiple. Um, the next one is load ColdFusion class path. That basically, do I want to load in the ColdFusion class path, or do I want to just use this one? And then finally, reload on change says if I make a change to that jar file, should I reload? Um, I have basic settings for all of this. Um, the jar file I'm going to pull in is a dictionary password validator. So basically, it's going to go through, spin through your characters, and see if um, there, there are uh, dictionary words in your password. This is a great example of uh, a great use of Java, right? This code is already available. It's on Google Code. It's all set for me to use. Why reinvent the wheel and rewrite this in ColdFusion when I've got it available as a jar file? So I pull it in, and uh, then I use it like I would any other Java jar file. So I go through and um, I, uh, I pull in, um, you'll see here I got two lines here, right? I've got the, the list of passwords. You'll see each one of these is uh, a password in, or attempt. Um, and then I pull in the, the, uh, the in an instance of the validator. So that's all set. Um, now what I'm going to do is output that code. So three, and you'll see a uh, ColdFusion uh, tester demo, a dictionary tester demo. Uh, what I'm going to do is spin through the list of, uh, of passwords, and I'm going to check each one. Is this a dictionary word, or is this a dictionary? Is this based on a dictionary word? So that's it. Pretty simple. Now you'll notice here I didn't have to restart the ColdFusion server. I didn't have to. Um, I didn't have to reconfigure anything. All I have is a little bit in the application.cfc, and I'm all set to go. So let's go over and see the progress here. See, it spins through, and you'll see dictionary tester demo. Is this a dictionary word? No. Is it based on a dictionary word? Yes. Yes. Then this one actually is a dictionary word, and then finally I've got a good password down at the bottom. So you see here, pulling in Java code within my ColdFusion application without having to uh, configure the server at all, just putting the application at, a different, uh, at the jar files. Next little bit I want to show you is that with this kind of new ability to pull in jar files so easily, um, it's possible you might get some output from a, from a jar file that you can't necessarily deal with in ColdFusion easily. Um, but now, with ColdFusion 10, you can for in loop through a Java array. So now, instead of having to do some sort of conversion process or being forced to do an index loop on this thing that's just an array, we can now spin through it just like it's a ColdFusion array. You'll see um, for item in J array, right output, li, item, and it's going to spin through and create a, an ordered list around this. So if I pull that in, I say uh, array, boom, you'll see it spun through it just like it was a ColdFusion array, but it's actually a Java array. So these are just a few of the features around Java integration that we've added in ColdFusion 10. If you want to find out more about either ColdFusion 10's Java integration or all the rest of the features, please check out the Adobe Developer Connection.